What's good, beautiful people? It's your girl, Shani here, your little big sis, and a welcome back to your favorite show on YouTube. Yes, I said it. I'm gonna go ahead and hype myself up. Always keep the faith Fridays, where you know I love to give you a little gem, a little nugget, a little something, something, some encouragement, taking you from your work week to your Friday, my favorite day of the week, and getting you into your weekend. I hope that you all have been doing great. For those of you who are watching for the first time, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Hopefully you'll stay, subscribe, be a part of the Faith Fam. And to my Faith Fam who remains faithful, thank you all so much for watching from week to week and hanging in there with me. I truly love and appreciate you all. And I appreciate all your comments and your love and your encouragement, especially after the last episode. It means more to me than you may ever know. Okay, so. You all know your girl has some Jamaican heritage, which this may or may not have anything to do with it, but I grew up drinking tea, um, which a lot of people from the Caribbean drink a lot of tea. Herbs is a thing, and I drink tea a lot all the time. I love it. And typically the teas that I drink always have some like little nuggets on the tea bag. Well, this time I found a really, really cool nugget that I thought would be inspiring. So that's what we're gonna talk about today. I'm gonna share that. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Okay, so you all know that I love drinking some tea. I love a good quote, and I especially love a good quote when it comes on a bag of tea. I'm just saying, that's just what it is. The really cool thing is that my husband likes to drink tea too, and he also reads these quotes. So many times we find a cool one on our bag of tea, we'll kind of leave them for the other one to find, and then we talk about them from time to time later. So if you ever come by the house and you see some like random tea bag quotes, don't be concerned, it's just what we do. But the particular quote that I found this day that really, really touched me in a major way, and maybe it's because I needed it that day, it says, find strength and knowing that you can make a difference in the world. Now, I know that might sound for some a little bit corny. You've heard things like, oh, you can be great. You can make a difference in the world. But on the particular day that I saw this quote, I needed it. And I'm the type of person who believes that God speaks to us in big ways, in small ways, in mysterious ways. And I believe that he knew at the time that I saw and the day that I saw this quote that I was in somewhat of a funk. I think with all the challenges that I've had, all of the hardships that I had, especially coming from the end of this year, going through the first half of this year, the ups and downs, hills and valleys, that I had started to believe that, girl, what are you even doing right now? Like you haven't even been able to have a real run during the year to do anything major, anything significant. You're not making that much of a difference. And this quote reminded me that not only can I make a difference, but that I need to find the strength to be able to make that difference in the world. And I do think that's the key thing is that a lot of times we feel that we don't have the strength, that we don't have what it takes to make a difference and to do something in the world of significance. How and where do we find the strength to make a difference in the world? Stick around and we'll talk about it a little bit. So these are just three things that I've thought of. There's nothing scientific about them. There's nothing biblical about them. But when I thought about, okay, if I need to find the strength to make a difference in the world, what would I look to? How would I do that? So I wanna share those things with you. So here's number one. Look at how you affected the people around you. Many times our influence, especially on those that are closest to us, or maybe those that are in our community, whatever the case may be, may be a great determination of how we come off in the world in general and how we affect them, especially in positive ways, can give us the strength to remember that we do have what it takes to make a difference and that we can make a difference. I think a lot of times when we think of the world, we think of the global world, which in many ways, yes, we probably will one day make a difference in the world, even if we're never seen as a celebrity or not on the big screen or not on the newspapers or whatever people may deem as famous or popular. But in our world, many times, we are making a difference. Number two, look at what makes you feel the best. Look, 
whenever I am doing this, when I am speaking, when I'm on a stage, when I have a mic in my hand, when I'm hosting an event, when I'm in a crowd of people, which a lot of times is what makes people most anxious, is what gives me the most energy, when I'm with youth, when I'm mentoring, when I am helping friends achieve the goals they have, those are times when I feel the best, when I feel that I am doing what I'm purposed to do. So what makes you feel the best about you? Look at those things, think on them, and in the times you need them, dig deep and find those ways to allow you to have strength. And number three, last but most certainly not least, is pray. Pray and ask the Lord how you can make a difference in the world. I know that for me, when I do take time to pray, which is really just talking to God, that's just really what it is, communicating with God in whatever way. Sometimes it is long drawn out prayers and sometimes it's not. Sometimes it's something short and quick. But I find that when I ask the Lord what it is that I'm supposed to do, he speaks to me. It may not always be audibly like you would hear a friend, but it could be something in my spirit. That day, it was that little piece of tea bag of him reminding me like, no girl, you do make a difference in the world. Find that strength to be able to make a difference. But I find when you take the time just to be quiet, just you in some silence, crying out, reaching out to God and just asking him, he'll give you answers. And he will even bring to your remembrance the things that can give you strength in order for you to feel like you are making a difference in the world. So what's this week's faith fact? You can make a world of difference in the world just by being true to you. At the end of the day, there's only one you. Even if you have an identical twin, they're not exactly like you. So that means you just getting up every morning, opening your eyes, making a decision to do something with your life from day to day and deciding that you will have some sort of purpose can and will make a difference in the world some way, in some shape, some form, somehow. Ultimately, we all make a difference in the world, even if it's just in the small world around us, just because we're here. To think that we were created, that there's no one else like us, there's no copies of us anywhere. I think that's amazing and sometimes I have to just like slow myself down and give myself a moment to think on that and to be grateful for that. To be created by a God who thought enough of me to make me just the way that I am and to make you just the way that you are. All right, I know that one was a little sentimental, but hopefully it was still short and sweet and to the point. And hopefully it maybe encourages you to buy some tea bags that have some good quotes on them so you can be inspired as well. But that is all that I have for you for this week. Whatever you do, find something fun. It's still summer, summer, summer time. So be sure that you do something fun to enjoy your summer, to relax in some way. All right, y'all. I love y'all. I appreciate you all. Faith fam, thank you for always rocking with me. For those who are new, I really, really hope that you'll hit that subscribe button so you don't miss an episode. And be sure to even follow me on social media at Shanee Speaks Now on Instagram and on Twitter, even though I don't tweet probably as much as I should, but eh, that's neither here nor there. But I do hope that you will continue to be a part of the Faith fam and that you'll come back for a little bit more encouragement from time to time. All right, y'all. I love y'all. And you know how we end every episode with the motto, always keep the faith and let the Lord fight your battles. Until next time, take care. Peace. Want to get a dose of motivation every Friday? Well, hit that notification button to subscribe so you never miss out. And feel free to share the encouragement with a friend. Don't forget, follow me on Instagram at Shanice Speaks Now and keep the good vibes going week long. Thanks so much for watching and see you next Friday.